The costumes are so intricate and brilliantly designed, and it's just incredible. Everything from the costume department to the, to the set department, it's, it's evolved so much. It's like getting something to its best level. We start off for a couple of months just concepting and illustrating the costumes. The direction is very much Roman military, uh, very much the rebel world of the slaves. Our numbers have grown beyond wildest expectation. Only a city could hold us now. We probably do 360 to 380 costume changes each episode. This one thing about a show, the more you work the costumes, the better they look as they age and worn down, and we add layers and layers of printing and texture. So by the time we've finished the season, they'll have this wonderful life history <laughs> each piece. The scale of the costumes and the detail, it's just, it's just brilliant. They've got their own fabulous wood collected on their way. We must strike as the serpent, fast and sure. If Crassus falls to our venom, his legions will froth and foam absent proper command. Thanks. <laughs> Incredible job, she does amazing work, as does Wild Man. If people don't know this out there, look, our, our leather work, all the leather work is done by a guy called Wild Man. <laughs> Every body molded leather has been done entirely by hand. Now he's a real driving force behind all of our period costuming, because he does, he doesn't belong to this, to this moment in time, he's from a world long ago, wild man. We are able to dress the action extras as well as the stunts. So one style of costume in these materials runs the whole show as opposed to making rubber for one and metal for another. <gasps> My armor. You can look at the costumes and go down to- Collectively, it really just adds to the story and the look of the show.